Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I will discuss two very important questions which come in the orals often. One is, what is the difference between a COC and a DOC, which stands for Document of Compliance and Certificate of Compliance. And second question I'm going to discuss is, if the port state has not ratified a certain convention, can they check a visiting vessel for its compliance? So let's get started. Starting with document of compliance. As you know, document of compliance is very commonly linked with the compliance of ISM code. The flag state issues the certificate once it has confirmed that a certain company is complying with the ISM code. So now the question comes, what is the role of a certificate of compliance? Certificate of compliance comes into play when vessels of a certain flag state which has not ratified to a certain convention are visiting another port. So for example, India has not ratified the ballast water convention. So now if an Indian flagship goes to a foreign port where the ballast water convention is already in force, what does that ship do? Because it will not get a compliance certificate from its flag state. So in circumstances like that, a company can approach the recognized organization or the classification society to show that they are complying with that convention and get a certificate of compliance proving that they are in compliance with the convention which even their flag state has not ratified yet. Thus, they can visit the ports which require compliance with certain conventions. So here I summarize, the document of compliance is issued by the flag state confirming compliance with a certain convention and when that convention is not ratified by the flag state and the company requires a certification for that they approach the classification society and get a certificate of compliance so the next question which i'm going to discuss with an example is let's say a european vessel is visiting an indian port as you know, many countries in Europe have already ratified the Ballast Water Convention and they need to comply with this convention. Now the question is, as India has not ratified the convention, can Indian port state check that vessel for compliance with Ballast Water Convention which they themselves have not ratified yet? And what if they find non-compliance with the Ballast Water Convention on those ships? Can they detain the ship? And the answer is, a port state cannot check compliance for a convention they have not ratified yet. I hope it was a useful video for you. If you have any additional information or any comment, please do write down below. And as always, thank you for watching.